Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Melissa and I'm so glad you could join me for this week's Toddler Time. Are you ready to get started? We are going to start with our welcome song, you right? Here we come now to story time, to story time, to story time. Here we come now to story time, so early in the morning. And this is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands, so early in the morning. And this is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet, so early in the morning. And this is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. All right, so now it is time for our first story for today. And today's first story is called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. And this story is by Mo Willems. There are so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. Three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy, or funny, or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Then he thought some more. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony! I shall make a proclamation! When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. See, he's wearing socks. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be fun for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered that he was not alone. Much had been said about the day, but for this story, only you only need to know three things. One. 
some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. All right, so next for today, we have a song. So can you look down and see what type of clothes are you wearing? What colors are you wearing? Hmm, maybe you've got black like I do, or maybe you have some yellow or orange or blue. Do you have green? All right, remember what colors you're wearing for this next song. Are you ready? If you're wearing red today, nod your head. Nod your head. If you're wearing red today, nod your head. If you're wearing red today and you really want to show it, if you're wearing red today, nod your head. Hmm, what color should we do next? What about green? If you're wearing green today, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're wearing green today, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're wearing green today and you really want to show it, if you're wearing green today, clap your hands. Clap, clap. Hmm, what about another color? What about blue? If you're wearing blue today, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. If you're wearing blue today, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're wearing blue today and you really want to show it, if you're wearing blue today, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. What about, what if you're wearing white? If you're wearing white today, shout hooray, hooray. If you're wearing white today, shout hooray, hooray. If you're wearing white today and you really want to show it, if you're wearing white today, shout hooray, hooray. All right, so now it is time for our second story for today. And today's second story is called Froggy Gets Dressed. And this story is by Jonathan London. It was cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know frogs are supposed to sleep all winter and wake up when the snow melts? No, no, cried Froggy. I'm awake, awake. I want to go out and play in the snow. So Froggy put on his socks, zoop, pulled up his boots, zup, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, twit, tucked on his mitten, zoom, and flopped outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled off his boots, he left his socks on, and slipped his pants on. Zip! Then he pulled on his boot, zup, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, twit, tugged on his mitten, zoom, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy! called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Whoops, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat. He left his pants, boots, and socks on and buttoned up his shirt. Zut, zut, zut. Then snapped on his coat. Snap put on his hat, zap, tied his scarf, twit, tugged on his mitten, zoom, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens. He had on his scarf. He had on his coat. He had on his shirt. He had on his pants. He had on his boots. He had on his socks. He reached up to, yup, he had on his hat. What could he be missing? Your underwear, his mother laughed. 
Whoops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He flopped back inside, flop, 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 tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, unsnapped his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants. He pulled off his boots, took off his socks, he left his hat on, and slipped his long johns on with a zap of elastic. Then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, zup, tugged on one mitten, zoom, started to tug on the other, and let it drop and said, I'm too tired, and went back to sleep. Good night, Froggy. The end. All right, so next for today, we are gonna do some shaking with our shakers. So can you find a toy or a rattle or keys or anything that makes noise when you shake it? All right, are you ready? Can you shake? Can you shake, shake, shake? Can you shake your shakers way up high in the sky? Shake them way up high. Can you shake them down low? Shake them down low. And can you shake them up high again? Shake them way up high. And can you shake them down low? Now, can you shake your shakers on top of your head? Can you shake them on top of your head? What about on top of your shoulders? Can you find your shoulders? Shake them on your shoulders. Or what about your elbows? Can you shake them on your elbows? Can you shake, shake, shake? And what about on your tummy? Can you shake them on your tummy? Can you shake, shake, shake? Now, can you take your shakers and can you shake them really, really fast? As fast as you can go. Shake, shake. And can you shake them really slow and slow motion? And can you shake them fast again? Fast, fast, fast! As fast as you can go! Shake, shake, shake! And can you shake them really slow? All right, so now we have a song with our shakers, and everybody can shake along. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. All right, great job with that thunder. That was great. Big shake. Shake, shake, shake. All right, so now you can go ahead and put your shakers away for today. And we have our last story next. And this story is called Naked. And this story is by Michael Ian Black. <gasps> naked! Look at me, everybody. I'm naked. Woo! Naked, naked, naked. Running around? Naked. Sliding down the stairs, naked. Eating a cookie, totally and completely naked. I should dress like this all the time. I could go to school naked, play on the playground naked. Do the hokey pokey, naked. Pants, who needs pants? Or shirts, or shoes, or capes. Wait, capes? Caped, look at me everybody, I'm caped. Flying through the air, caped. Fighting evildoers, caped. Eating another cookie, mostly naked. 
but also caped. Being naked is great, but being caped is even better. Except that now I'm cold. Cold, cold, cold. Shivering in my bedroom, cold. Sneaking downstairs, cold. Eating one last cookie, cold. Maybe I should put on some pants and a top and maybe these slippers and maybe take off the cape. Nah, the cape stays on. And now I am exhausted. And now I am asleep. The end. All right, so now it is time for our goodbye song. Are you ready? Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands around and wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.